Hey, today I want to talk to you about the three myths of viral marketing because everyone talks about viral marketing, marketing based on referral. And social media is driving more and more of this word of mouth marketing and we're moving away from a world based on advertising to a world based on referral, on people knowing you and passing it on. And while this isn't going to eliminate advertising, I think a lot of people are really missing the point because they think viral is really out there. It's weird. It just happens. And that's what I want to share with you. The three myths of viral marketing. Myth number one, it all has to be wild, wacky, weird YouTube stuff. Now sure, we all know that the cat videos and the doggy videos and people singing and doing weird stuff and beating each other up and planking and hanging out on the, on the floor it gets passed on. That's to fill the boredom, okay? And there's nothing wrong with that, but that's not really the core of viral. It certainly is a natural viral video. It's entertainment. But if you try to go out and be weird, wacky, and crazy, at a certain point, that'll benefit you, maybe initially, but then you get remembered as the weird, wacky, crazy person. And it doesn't really benefit you down the road unless, of course, your whole persona is to be weird, wacky, and crazy. But for most of us in business, that kind of viral marketing isn't viral. It's sort of derogatory. It's not a positive thing. So myth number one, it doesn't have to be all weird, wacky, viral. Don't sit around thinking of something to wow people. Get to their heart. Hearts and minds. I want you to remember that. Because myth number two in viral marketing is that it just happens. That viral marketing isn't under your control. That it just happens. And I can tell you from having created viral campaigns for 15 years, since 1995, all it takes is really, really understanding your audience. Taking a little time, not just sitting around separate in your own little box, your office, and brainstorming with a few friends and then putting it out there and hoping that it works. What's really important in viral marketing is to go out and start looking around. Go to discussion groups, go to Facebook fan pages, go to Twitter. Find the themes that people are talking about. Find the time of day that they go and time this in the time of year. I mean, if you're talking about diet programs, you want to talk about them in January or right, you know, in May or June, just before they go to the beach. You don't always talk to them about diets, okay? So it's key to have the timing. It doesn't just happen. And the final myth of viral marketing that I really want to share with you is simple. You have to remember that you can create viral marketing if you give value to that person, that single person who will then bring in their followers, their audience. See, the key in viral marketing is you don't market to the first person who comes there. The first wave of people are the ones who are going to refer people to you. And that means they're the judges, the bloggers, the curators, the reviewers, the people with too much time. These are the people who first come to you and you really got to remember that you're appealing to them with something of great value and where you want them to be active. These are the small percentage of people in social media who participate. And that participation will show when they let other people know, when they spread it to their networks. And all of a sudden, your network goes here and here and here. And the next thing you know, it's a viral. It spreads only if you, A, don't try to just be something different, wild, wacky, and different. Two, don't rely on the myth that it just happens. Create it by knowing and knowing what they're interested in and what they like and what they don't like. In fact, go to Amazon, read books related to your product or service, read the five-star reviews, and read the one-star reviews, because the people who don't like you have a lot more to teach than the people who love you. Nothing against love, but the people who don't like, they missed one thing. They missed something, and that's the core element of a viral. What is the key value that's going to get this person to pass it on to friends? And last thing I'll remind you about viral marketing is it tends to be more driven by women than men. As I like to say, Men share jokes and porn. Women share things of true value. And growing up with six sisters, I know it's a sign of friendship. And when I do viral programs, I prefer to focus on women-based markets because I can get 5, 10, 20, sometimes 50 referrals if I do it right. And I measure my success by the referral. So remember that the myth of viral marketing is it can't be created. It can, but it takes a little time. You have to plant the seeds, and you have to research what those seeds are. This is Declan, and I'm done with his pivot and profit, the three myths of viral marketing.